if you try to make sense of the shape of the curve of the yield curve in the US, you've got to make uh, two assumptions, basically. One is that the Federal Reserve is actually uh, fighting against inflation and that it will do this successfully. So, which implies that after a while, with higher rates continuing, inflation will come down. And since inflation will come down, rates can start slowly declining. And this is giving you this uh, very bizarre uh, hum shape of the curve where you've got uh, higher rates uh, at, at the start and then progressively you end up with lower rates. To tell the same story, you end up with a situation where the markets expect the Federal Reserve to go to a three and a quarter, three, three and a half percent in terms of short term rates and uh, long term rates are 80 BPs below that are like uh, to, to 70 to 80 depending on the days. Inflation in the US uh, now it's 8.5 percent. It will continue to, to be higher uh, because you get a complete wage price payroll at work in the US. You've got wages accelerating, you get uh, profit margins increasing. So you, you will end up with even more inflation. No way you can fight against that, that level of inflation with rates going to three or two, three and a half percent which the markets are thinking the Federal Reserve will do. Now, I think their intention will be probably to act very strongly against inflation. So if you act very strongly against inflation, you need A, of course, to keep raising the short-term rates, but B, to keep buying. And so they announced that they would be buying uh, $1,200 billion, uh, almost $1,200 billion over, over the next 12 months which makes sense. So not only do you raise rates, but you steepen the curve by, by these big purchases. And again, this is what they have to do, because if they don't do that, I mean, suppose we keep 10 years like three, two, three quarters. I mean, it means that a real tenure in the US today is close to minus 6%. How do you fight against inflation with the real tenure, which is minus six? So they have to, to create a very big increase in the real long-term interest rate. So they need both short-term rates and, and, and bond purchases to, to achieve that. And as long as this is not a shift, so basically as long as inflation is not under control in the US, it means that the, curves will, the curve will keep steepening. So, uh, so the limit to this strategy, uh, if you expect that, is when you will see that inflation starts being curved, starts, starts really correcting. When this happens, it's time to think that the curve might re-flatten in the future. But as long as the Federal Reserve has to do more to fight against inflation, then using these two instruments, they will pivot the curve uh, A to higher levels and, and B to, uh, to a larger to a slope because they need it if they really want to have an effect on inflation.